Welcome back to GoPSUSports.com. Lauren Crispel joined by Joey DiBernard, a senior third baseman from Lake Zurich, Illinois. The Indy Lions pick up a big 5-2 victory over Iowa in game one of this three-game set. And Joey, an interesting day of travel to begin with. Mm -hmm. Guys leaving at 3.30 from State College, 3.30 from Baltimore. Tough place to play for you guys over the years. Talk about the importance of getting game one tonight over the Hawkeyes. Um, it's definitely a big, big win Friday night considering I think this is like our second win on a Friday night the whole year. Um, even dating back to last year, I think a couple of guys even were saying we usually weren't winning on Friday. So the start of the series with a win is huge, you know, going in tomorrow. Um, it's big uh, being up one nothing, um, opposed to being down 0-1. So it's a big win for us. You faced a very tough senior starter tonight in Jared Hippen. You've mm -hmm. seen him four times now over your career. Mm -hmm. It was your RBI double in the top of the eighth that made it a 3-1 game. At the time, a huge insurance run for you guys. Talk about the pitch you saw from Hippen and what you saw from him all night long. Yeah, well, he struck me on my first bat on a good uh, slider, I believe, and then walked me. And then um, my third bat, I got that single, but I was way ahead of it, and he kind of like jammed me off the end of the bat. And I knew coming in again he was going to probably throw the same thing, which he did. A little slow breaking ball, and I tried to stay back way, way more, and I did. And luckily he just kind of hung and I hit it well. Joe, you're back to 500 now in conference mm -hmm. play. What's the approach moving forward tomorrow as Stephen Hill takes the ball for you guys in game two? Well, we know uh, Steve Hill is going to throw strikes for us, and you know he's going to give us his best. So as long as we score him some runs, I think we'll be all right. Play defense behind him. Um, all year long, he's been throwing strikes and getting at least five, six innings. So as long as he can do that, I think we'll be all right. Joey, congratulations Thank on the you. win. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Welcome back to GoPSUSports.com. Lauren Crispel joined now by assistant coach Eric Fulmer. And coach, a uh, big win for you guys tonight. 5-2 in game one over Iowa. This has been a tough place for you guys over the years. They've taken two of three from you each of the last two seasons. How good does it feel to get game one in your back pocket? You know, it's always great to take game one anywhere, and especially here where, like you said, the last few years we struggled. They're a scrappy bunch. Um, they, they always are very, very competitive, and it's a, it's a great uh, great start to the weekend when you go out on Friday and win game one. Let's talk about Joe Karash. You move him from the Saturday role to the Friday starters role. That's a key spot for any rotation. Sure. Didn't have his best stuff tonight, but battled all night long. He did. You know, he really competed. Joe's been very good for us all year, and uh, I thought he went out and he, he battled. You know, all night he got deep in some counts, but you know he didn't walk anybody. You know he got three two seven counts, but he always battled. And, um, like I said, you know pitched a contact there three two and made him put the ball in play. And, and like he's done all year, really he's, he's battled and pitched well. Offensively, coach, it's very easy to always talk about the Deegans, Tarankas, De Bernardes in this lineup. They're so key and so vital. But tonight you got contributions from some names down in the order: the Montesino single. J.C. Cope and J.J. White. Talk about their contributions tonight. Well, I, like you said, I think you know, we've had some, some older guys that have been around for a long time and have, have had some key hits for us. And I thought, I think tonight you saw some of the younger guys, some of the newer guys uh, that definitely came up big with big hits and big times. I think we had some guys on the bases, uh, base running wise, that, that came up with some key plays for us, moving up a base, um, good dirt read, um, stuff like that that was, was key in, you know, for us scoring a few runs as well. You've got game one in hand now. What's the mood of the team as you head to game two tomorrow? Well, I think, you know, we, we put the ball in Steve Hill's hand tomorrow. We're, we're very excited. He's a guy that's thrown well for us the last few years as well. We know he's going to be around to play with a few different pitches, and he's going to give us a great chance to go out and win the series tomorrow. Coach, thanks for your time. Congratulations on a great win. Thank you. Assistant Coach Eric Fulmer, the Lions win it 5-2. Don't forget, game two tomorrow, Stephen Hill will take the ball for Penn State. First pitch, 105 Central Time, 205 Eastern Time. You can follow all the action right here on gopsusports.com or on WRSC 1031 FM.